Hey, so I just got a Rogue barbell delivered and I am gonna take you through the process of getting it out of the box. Hey, this is Greg with Discovering Strength, the channel focused on fitness tips, product reviews, and occasionally a how-to for the average guy or girl trying to get in shape through strength training. If you like what you see, consider subscribing below. All right, so I have another Rogue Barbell that I got um, about a year and a half, two years ago. You can check out the video at the link above. But during that time when I received it, I had a heck of a time getting the thing out of the packaging. It was great that it was packaged securely, uh, but honestly, not knowing how to remove it properly I almost damaged the barbell. All right, so this time around, I watched a few YouTube videos on how to remove the packaging properly uh, to be able to get it out of the box. Um, and I'll leave the link to some of those videos in my description below, but I'm gonna take you through the process today of how to get it out of there. All right, so you can see here that along the edges that uh, they've got these really heavy duty staples in there. And then on the end, there's like this aluminum uh, end cap. So what you need to first do is use a flathead screwdriver to uh, lift up the inside of the staple. And then after that, you're gonna use needle nose pliers to just pull the thing out. All right, so as you can see, I've got my flathead screwdriver here and I'm gonna demonstrate how you just have to get it underneath there and then pry it back. All right, so I'll show you what worked a little bit better for me. I kind of propped the whole thing up with my leg and then you pry it up. You have to kind of use the edge of the flathead against the bottom to pry it back like that. That seemed to work a little bit better. All right, so now that I have pried all of those up, I'm gonna go ahead and use my needle nose pliers to just pull the staples out. All right, so I actually found it was really hard to, to grab the staples with, with uh, needle nose pliers alone. So what I'm gonna try to do is now using my rubber mallet, um, or you could use a hammer. I couldn't find my hammer, so this is what I'm using. I'm just gonna try to kind of pound this in um, so that I can access the staple. All right, so let's see if we can do this here. So that method did not work very well to try to hammer this thing in and get the staple out. So what I'm trying now is just using a flathead screwdriver, just trying to pry underneath it and then pop it out. We'll see how that goes. So this one I kind of already pried up, so this one's gonna come out. There we go, that worked much better. Let's see if I have as much luck on the next one. Oh yeah, that's the way to go. And you just pop that out, and work your way around. All right, so that was still an absolute pain, um, but I did get those out. Definitely was much easier just using the flathead screwdriver to pry it out. Um, so now what I have seen 
is that you just want to use your needle nose pliers to start peeling back the um, cardboard where you can see the groove here. So kind of like um, one of those cans of, you know, Pillsbury uh, Crescent Rolls or whatever. Okay, and the idea is to grab onto it without grabbing the plastic or the aluminum end cap there. So just on the side and then start prying it back. Which maybe is easier said than done. There we go. That gave me enough leverage just to be able to pull this end cap thing out of there. So that's out. All right, so without that end cap in there, you can see there's a little piece of styrofoam, it looks like. There, let me prop this up so you can see it. I can't really see that all that well. A little piece of styrofoam for protection. Pop that out and there you go. All right, so that does it for the tutorial on how to get your Rogue barbell out of the packaging. Let me know if you got any questions or comments down below and we'll see you next time.